On this Jobs Friday, we are focusing on a business that employs people who have little hope of finding work due to a lack of education or lack of experience. The nonprofit organization is called Streetwise, and it's taking some people from homeless to hired. 20 years ago, Streetwise was founded in Chicago as a way to get homeless people off the streets and into the workforce by selling magazines. I always promised my daughter when she was born that I would always have some form of employment. Linda Fisher kept that promise by getting a job seven years ago at Streetwise. It beat the alternative. It's not shaking a cup, it's not begging for money, it's me selling a product to people. Since joining Streetwise, Fisher has moved up to an executive assistant position. She still hits the streets because she likes the product and enjoys getting out and talking to people whether she makes a sale or not. Good afternoon, would you like to see one? No. Thank you, have a great day. As the economy struggles, and so do those who are unemployed, the number of people applying for work at Streetwise has increased. The situation is much more dire. Streetwise Executive Director Jim Lobianco has noticed a dramatic shift in hiring as more people are turning to the organization, not just because they're homeless, but because some are trying to hang on to their homes. We're serving more people who have a high school education or even some college. We're serving people that have a proven work history. The business model, he says, has been a success. The first 15 copies are free to the vendors. After that, they buy the magazine for 90 cents and resell it for $2 on the streets. Some vendors find selling is their true calling. Dion Washington is so upbeat when he works, he gets approached about other opportunities. I actually recently got a job as another vendor at the White Sox Park, so I'm going to be vending hot dogs, beer, stuff like that. He says working both jobs is a dream come true. I'm pretty excited, especially the White Sox, you know. It's no pleasure I get out of vending, giving people the product that they need. And on top of that, I get to watch baseball all season. <laughs> Even though selling the magazine isn't always a ball, it is a game changer. You always get somebody that's in a crabby mood that takes it out on the vendor and tells them to go get a job. But people really have to understand that this is their job. And sometimes with a huge payoff, Fisher is going to school to become a paralegal eventually. She wants to get her law degree. Streetwise currently employs 200 vendors and could possibly hire as many as 100 more.